hello hello and what is up ADHD gang and today today we are filming episode two of getting stuff done now last the last video that I posted it's going up like it went up like right before I started filming this um it took forever to edit because my clips there was something going on with my clips and I could not transfer them from the camera to my laptop. And then when I got them onto my laptop, they wouldn't properly go into the editing software. It's, it was a whole thing. So certain parts were supposed to have voiceovers that didn't. And it's a whole thing. But today we're getting stuff done. Um, I have something that I want to show you, something that I was working on. I wish I kind of would have filmed it, I could have put it in here, but I kind of just didn't because a lot of the times when I'm doing stuff and it's not being filmed, it gets done a bit quicker. Um, so I'll show you that. And then we have some like cleanup things that I have to do, some things in the kitchen that I'm going to get done. And then I have behind me in my sewing area, a stack of projects and things that need to get done um this is gonna be like over a accumulation of multiple days because i'm not doing everything in one day it's gonna be split up so if you see a few different like fits and stuff like that this is gonna be filmed over like almost like a week span or like a few few days because i need to <laughs> film this and edit it so i can get it out by the end of the month because i'm trying to film two videos for you guys um so yeah let's let's get it let's get into this video okay so the the first thing that i want to show you is the basement i have been cleaning up the basement and hold on let me turn on the lights um i cleaned out my side my art studio there's so much more room in here. It's it's still looking crusty because you know it's a basement. But um yeah, I cleaned out everything. This bucket here is new. Um been kind of moving stuff around, got rid of stuff and selling stuff on Facebook Marketplace, and that has been going super well. Um so yeah, my art studio has the ability to like kinda move for it if I want more like moveage kind of stuff like that. I was able to take that back table and make it taller. I didn't realize that it got taller <laughs> and all this time I've been dealing with it being a short table and now like it's the same length as my grade table. Brought another table up for all of my home decor and then extra games that like didn't fit here, which this has been moved. House plan, I set a chair in here because I'm honestly thinking that there may be some point where like I just want to like chill sit on a chair and like maybe do some drawing instead of physically sitting at a table and like the the stand can swing over and I can move it to swing over the other way so that it can film in the chair and then all of this stuff back here is all storage parents kind of stuff but yeah, then this moved and then peeped some of the new art pieces. You would have already seen some of these art pieces out on my YouTube channel. But like all of this has been moved. That is the stack of art that I am wanting to sell. And yeah, I had to show you guys this because it looks so much better. Like there's so much room, so much more floor space. And then once... A lot of like this furniture and stuff gets cleared out and moved there will be a lot more space and stuff like that and the goal and like the dream plan it was going to be to have another table somewhere in here that would be like a desk setup as well unless I just converted this also into a desk setup and then I just swapped back and forth I don't know, we'll figure it out. But let's let's go upstairs. We got some things to do up there. Okay, um, we're upstairs. I have the England versus Ireland women's game on. This is like a live stream that is it's old. Um, so yeah, well we gotta tackle 
is some dishes. I also have some things on the table that are like personally mine that I need to wash. So I'm gonna set this up and this is gonna be a bit of a time lapse while I kinda go back and forth, watch the game, stuff like that. Um, this is gonna be the first productive thing of the day. If you have stuff to get done, get it done do it with me do it with me get the stuff you gotta get done clean your house that's what these videos are for and that's what this series is for get it done I did the dishes in this side and there are dishes in this side so what i'm gonna do real quick is just take the dishes in this side and i'm gonna throw them into the hot soapy water and i'm gonna let them soak for a bit of time and then i will come back to them later i just want them to initially get that soak if there's any sort of leftover residue that didn't come off when they got rinsed and then i have two containers i have this here which just had moon water in it and then i have this this desperately needs some soap and water so let's do this first i'm gonna take some of this And take a bit of that hot water and then i'm gonna take some of this john power walk and just give about like four squirts and then i'm gonna shake it up and then I'm going to let that also sit for the same amount of time that that's just going to sit. And then this thing, it's just sticky on the outside. Like the inside had moon water in it. So I'll rinse out the inside real quick. Just to make it pure again. And then the next time I need to make moon water, then I'll have this. But I'm going to let this sit in the hot water. And hopefully like the sticky from the labels will come off um and i think that that is about it for at least today um i may see you later today i may see you tomorrow we'll figure it out okay um it's later in the day i may end up just getting a lot of like just random stuff done um i always clean my room on mondays but my closet hasn't been tackled in quite a bit because there is some christmas presents in there and 
and like a lot of the stuff that's in here is like my comforter christmas presents and then like all of the clothes that like i plan to sell in the near future probably sometime in the fall time once drum corps is over and i can do like physical sales and stuff like that but it all needs to be resorted because the clothes that have like labels and tags kind of got all like torn out and it are in different places and then the clothes that like don't have tags that i don't know which like collection they're going for also kind of need to be sorted oh and also we have a copy but i made my own strawberry syrup it didn't make that much which i figured it wouldn't but like it also made like a strawberry jam so 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 excited for that but i made a strawberry cold foam to go on top and let me tell you so good i've been actually experimenting with making actual cold foams instead of just frothing milk and stuff like that which is what i kind of used to do but yeah um let's get into this i have a streamer on that i'm watching i'll probably pull my hair back up because i'm dying in this summer heat and we'll get this done this will probably be another time lapse i may do a voiceover i may not if there's not a voiceover i'll try to find music like i did the last time that is like suitable to the vibe we'll get into it <laughs> It's a it's a hot mess and they're like specifically that side but the other side's cleaned out so what I got is that pile kind of in front down there um that's all the stuff with tags and then I just have piles on the floor like this one next to me is like uh piles for like different collections and seasons and then all of that behind me is kind of more stuff. But then I also have this big tray under my bed. So what I'll do, I'll do this off camera so that it's not another time lapse because I have other things over my swing corner that I want to get to and I want to put them in this video. So I'm going to go through what's under here again and then kind of like look and see okay is there some pieces that i want to withhold based on the pieces that like i'm making now what's gonna go kind of like for what collection or like what 
grouping because I don't want everything to go out at once. You got to have like drops. So I'll figure that out. I will come back, maybe give you an update. Maybe I'll just see you tomorrow. We'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, we're back with sound this time and not a voiceover or music or whatever I put in there. Um, so, getting stuff done. I have this gorgeous bag, but it's flimsy. So, to solve that, I cut this black, like, kind of thicker cotton and I'm gonna sew this up together I'm just gonna leave the colors that I have in this machine because I have green and purple the purple may show so I may switch that out once I insert it into the bag but right now I'm gonna sew this and then sew this these straps together and then I'll sew the straps just onto those straps and then insert this into that bag and sew it on. I may flip it into it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But let's let's just sew it first. Let's turn the thing on. I love this. This is a brother embroidery machine. Um, I used to sew a regular sewing machine, but with the touch of one button. I don't have to use the foot pedal. I don't have to use the foot pedal. It's like one of the best things in my life to not have to use the foot pedal because I can sit like crisscross everything. I can sit however I want in the chair and I can be like as close to the machine as I want. So yeah, I, so that means that I'm going to be looking for a new chair because I don't have to sit as far back because my legs don't have to physically reach the floor and stuff like that. So yeah, this will be one side. The only downfall is that if I'm doing, instead of rounded corners, like sharp corners, to remember to start and stop and like press that button is something that I'm getting into. I don't know where I just put my scissors. I'll just grab these ones. And then let's cut off their Halloween colors. Unintentional, unintentional. I plan to make a few more painted items. Um, I have some things down in the basement that I want to customize and paint. It's just right now I'm trying to get through bulk. 
of fabric before I go ahead and like just immediately pull out all of these patchwork projects because I want to do like a big project and then patchwork and I only have like one patchwork at a time because it's me and I don't want like five patchworks out like I had before so we're trying to minimize the clutter but we're like clearing off this chair there's only two things in this chair no there's three things in this chair that aren't i'm not gonna finish today um one of them requires a jacket zipper that opens at the bottom all of my zippers that are the appropriate length don't open at the bottom they're just like the crap like the bag zippers that's permanently closed at the one end and like i could take that off but i have nothing to like stop the zipper from falling off like i don't know how to do all that um so yeah we have this i'm gonna figure out how to do this i think i'm just gonna turn this bag inside out I'm gonna attempt to fit them together. I'm hoping that I could do the right size. I'm gonna hope and pray that it was cut to the right size. It's obviously not gonna be properly done because if I would have thought about this earlier, I wouldn't have sewn this bag together and I would have put the backing on first. There's gonna be extra. Okay. I'm trying to get it to yeah, lay close to the bottom as close to the bottom as I can. And then I'm just gonna flip the straps on this. And then flip It's about like an inch over, so let me cut that off first. Okay, okay. Cut it off. Now we're just going to sew it. But I want to show you how to, like, how this machine works just a little bit because the rethreading process is so much easier than a regular sewing machine and i have to show you okay so we're gonna take yeah Hold on. take the purple off hold on i was gonna i just dropped the cap Hold on, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna fish it out. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, okay, got the cap, got the cap. So, um, take this green that I have, find the end of it. Okay, so you put it on like normal, 
it gives you instructions and then winding the bobbin too is so much easier than I think the other one just because it has the automatic start. You can, of course, it comes with a foot pedal. Yeah, it comes with an automatic foot pedal. You can, of course, do it yourself. So it goes through there, it goes through here. Same, same process. But what I wanna show you is when I bring it down here. And you take it, you pull it through here. But instead of going through the needle, you go through here, and you go through here, and you go. Oh my god. It's so hard to like demonstrate it and show it. And then that cuts it off. And then you push the button. You press the... Is it not open? I don't think it was open. Okay, hold on, because now it's not doing it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. So that thing like automatically pushed it through. Isn't that cool? I think that that's cool. Let's let's continue. So. I'm gonna put them on but another thing that I really kind of like about this machine is that you can set it to automatic backstitch and cutting I don't think I've ever backstitched a garment before like I backstitch if I'm doing like elastics and stuff like that but I don't ever backstitch a garment I probably should but um i don't so we're gonna we're gonna test this out we're gonna see It's this specific thread, and I know that it is, because this specific green, for some reason, does not untangle very well. Like, some of my threads, like, when you get the, like, the thread itself on the top, that little, like, cut where they put the end of the thread into gets stuck when I'm sewing and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Now I could have easily done a straight stitch with this. back. 
all that really mattered to me was getting something on the inside and on the straps because if I were to say sell something, like if I, I do plan to like sell something like this or sell this piece in the near future, I want it to be sturdy. I want it to last long. I'm not gonna cut corners. I cut corners on pieces for myself, but keeping it for myself. So we do not cut corners. I shouldn't cut corners in general. But it's also me. And you know, sometimes you just do. Now obviously the faster you make the stitch, the closer it's gonna get almost out of bobbin thread so i'm gonna re-thread this bobbin and then i'll come back to you once this is done because i don't want this video to be too long again okay so the straps are gonna be black on the outside because i sewed on the initial strap wrong but in all honesty i like how it goes like this Highlighter kind of electric feel, and then you have this bag. Um, I have three other projects to finish, so I'm gonna do those off camera and then I'll come back so that this video isn't like another 40 minute long video for you guys okay um it's been like a full weekend i had a show weekend over the weekend didn't really get much done on friday because i was gonna leave i usually leave on fridays for drum corps but i then ended up leaving saturday morning because of some things that came up so I then just didn't get anything done on Friday and just kind of later on I did nothing. Boo. Um, so there's still a few things on my chair that I have left to do. I will probably get them done today, but this is going to be the end of the video. I got a lot accomplished. I hope that you guys also got a lot accomplished. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below what you want to see. I think I figured it out now, so you should be able to comment. Um, and yeah, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I try to post two times a month now. We're going to hope that this video uploads and gets out functions properly unlike the last one that last one took so long to get out it was nearly the middle of the month and i've been filming like back to back like filming editing back to back which i don't usually like to do but yeah let me know in the comments what you want to see for the next video um and i hope you guys had a good day good week and goodbye <laughs>